Made it to the pink pillbox. I'll show you the view right now. So this is the mountain we're climbing right now. We're not going all the way to the top. We're just going to a couple of the pillboxes up there. The trail starts where that pink bus is. I only wore my Vans this time. Probably not a good idea because it is a little bit slippery and very rocky. So far, looks very popular. Definitely moderate to difficult hike depending on your uh, abilities. Only about halfway up and it already looks awesome. There's lots of pill boxes out here, but these ones that we're going to, they're off of Calcama Street or Road, I don't remember. I think there's three of them up here, and one of them is painted pink. There's a little lookout spot right here. see two of the pillboxes up there. And there's the pink one, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's actually a lot up here. Um, Cause there's three you can see from the road and there's already three or four I can see from the side right here. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> this trail is an out and back trail. This tree looks awesome. I definitely recommend uh, wearing some sort of hiking shoe or shoe with, um, what's it called, traction, because it can be a little slippery out here. Also, watch out for loose rocks, because there's quite a few on this trail. Almost to the top. I was told about these cement boxes. They're called pill boxes, and they were for uh, the war for the soldiers to look out onto the ocean to see if anybody was coming in. We're not quite at the top yet, but we're at an awesome lookout right now. I'm not sure if my phone captures it, but you can see the reef down there. Like the light spots, that's the sand. And this is our first pill box right behind us. This is the inside of that first pill box. So you see there's two more pillboxes over there. On our way up we saw a bunch of cables on the trail. And this looks like um, obviously something that pulls the cable. So there must have been some sort of pulley system to pull up the, uh, the soldiers. And that's definitely an engine. That's the tiny pink lemonade stand where we started. Right there. Fuel box number two. This one's a lot bigger. Some awesome art. This is on top of that pill box that we just went in. Box. I'll show you the view right now. So 
there's all three of the pillboxes that we just went to. Honestly pretty scared of heights, so I don't think I'll move past this spot right here. All right, we're heading back down. So there's two ways to get up this. There's this curvy route, which is easy. Um, or you can climb up the side just straight up. If you can see where that guy in the red is, you could just go sh from the bottom just straight up. Getting pretty close to being at the bottom now. You said what time curve, yeah? Yeah. I tripped over a rock. Well, I didn't trip over it, but I... I kicked it with my toe and then it rolled forward and cut the back of my leg. So just be careful, the rocks are sharp. Some of them. I also messed up my foot. I mean my shoe. There it is, uh, right there. Almost down to the bottom. So there's no markers for this trail. But it's very obvious once you're on the street, like where the trail starts. If you go on all trails, that's exactly where it starts. I like to use all trails because it's super convenient. Um, you don't have to look online for specific trails or anything. You can just scroll through local trails, click on any of them, click on other pictures that people have taken. So then you know what you're getting yourself into. Anyways, yeah, there's no markers, but it's very obvious how to get on the trail and it's very obvious how to stay on the trail. There's a couple spots where you can veer off and go your own way, um, but the more walked trail is very open. It's just over a lot of rocks. All right, hike's all done. We got some of this lemonade right here. It's really good. You can mix it with pretty much any fruit that you want. It's a little pricey, but after a hot hike, hike, it's really nice. Bye.